Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today is going to be a quick part three on our Intro to SAS Macro series. I'll have the link in the description below for part one and part two, just in case you missed it. But let's go ahead and get started. So today we are going to focus on the percent if macro. We are going to briefly talk about the power of conditional statements starting off. And then we are going to parallel that with the percent if macro to use in some of our macro programs. So what is the power of these conditional statements, sometimes called if then else statements, if then else if else statements, but these are all conditional logic. And we use these statements to filter our data, create new variables based off of certain conditions, update records, and many more. So as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, I have created a data set called sites where I have address information. This and here means to put everything on a single line, okay? I only want one column called address. So once I run this piece of code, I then enable to use a conditional statement like a if then else statement to update this data set. So in this case, I am saying if that address is equal to 19 Main Street, then the new address is equal to 19 Main Street Northwest. Else, just fill in the address as is. And so when I do this, I get this nice little output that you see at the bottom of the screen where all of the new addresses now have the Northwest logic to it, okay? So this is an example of a use case with the if then else statements to update the records that we have in our data set. Now, what about the percent if micro and how can we use this inside that do loop? So in part two, like I said, part two will be linked in the description below. We talked about that do loop macro and the power of that do loop macro to help us create a list of variables, help us rename variables, as well as run a procedure against multiple different data sets. But now we're going to use that percent if then macro inside the do loop to help create conditional filters. So the example that we have here is that we can use these conditional macros to perform procedures based off of certain conditions. And we're going to put that percent if then do in within another do loop. So let's look at this example here. So in the last video, we've made several data sets that had purchase information. So I had data called purchase one for purchases made in month one, purchase two for purchases made in month two, purchase three for purchases made in month three, and so forth. And then I created this macro program. And keep in mind that my macro program starts with my percent macro statement and ends with my percent min statement. And inside of this program, I could do anything. So inside of the, the outer loop is called my do loop, which I have here where it says do I equals one to four because I have four purchase data sets and then I end that. And then within this do loop, I have some filtering. So if the I is not one or four, so say for instance, I only care about months two and three. So if I is not equal to one and it is not equal to four, then I want to do this proc means procedure where I'm gonna take the purchase and I, so in this case, purchase two, purchase three, get the proc means for the amount column and then run it. And then once I execute this by just calling the name of the macro, I should get the results for data sets two and three only. So let's look at this right inside SAS Studio itself. And I'm going to scroll down here. And so as you can see, we have created all of these data sets. And that's going to be in our work library when we run this piece of code, OK? And feel free to create any data sets you want or to retype this inside your own screen, whatever the case may be. So in this case, I have purchase one. I have purchase two. I have purchase three. And I have purchase four. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and run all of these mini data sets that I've created. 
Okay. And then here is going to have all of the data sets that now come within my work library. So now I'm going to want to actually do that macro that we just saw. Okay. So I'm calling the macro mean purchase, and then I'm going to end it with mean purchase. I'm going to say do I equals one up to four. Okay. If it is not equal to one, and if I is not equal to four, then actually give me out a proc means procedure, okay? So I don't care about the beginning month and I don't care about the ending month, just everything in between. So I end my if statement with a percent end, and I also have to end the do loop with a percent end. So now when I run this piece of code, I'm just going to take it a second. Cool. So now when I run this piece of code, I see that I have the second and the third data sets. Okay. And this gives me the mean of the purchase amount, the standard deviations of the purchases that were made, and the minimum and maximum. So this is an example about how to use our percent if macro inside of a do loop. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going. All right, so one of the last cases I want to talk about that is probably one of the more complex cases is how we just use the if then else logic inside of a complete macro program to give us different results. So let's look at this code. So I have once again a data set and I'm going to put this data set in the description. And I'm creating a data set that has employee IDs and their corresponding salary. So now I want to create a program where I'm able to calculate the bonus. So they can either get a quarterly bonus or an annual bonus. And those are gonna be different calculations for me. And it's gonna be based off of what their last year's salary was. So in this case, I call the macro bonus and I put review in here. And then I'm going to say, let my review be up case of ampersand review. Because ampersand review is going to be that macro variable there. And I'm going to do my if logic here. So if the review is equal to court, then do. Because remember, we do the percent then do. This is not a do loop is more of a do multiple things, right? It's not going to keep cycling. It's just going to say do this. So in this case, I want to create a data set called bonus, and I want to assign a new variable called court bonus as 5% of the salary. If I put court inside this parentheses. Else if I want to go ahead and put an inside of the parentheses, which stands for annual review, then the data set that I'm going to get out is now going to have annual bonus equals to 10% of the salary. And so, of course, when I do a macro program, I end it with that percent min statement as well. And I can execute it by calling percent bonus and putting court or and in there. It's going to automatically force it to uppercase with this second line. Okay. So let's actually see this in SAS Studio. So once again, I have my last year's salary data just for funds. Okay. That we have employee IDs and their corresponding salary. And here's my macro program. And as always, I always start with creating the name of the macro program and what the input needs to be, and then closing it with a percent min. Everything else goes in between. So in this case, I am making sure that regardless of what case that you put your answer in or your argument in, it's going to change it to up case. Okay. So I'm going to force everyone's answer to be standardized. And then now this is where my if logic comes about. And I'm going to do two things. So in this case, I have a if, then, do, and. Okay. So if the review is court, then do this data set. Create this data set for me that is going to say their quarterly bonus is 5% of the salary. And then I'm going to end that. Else, if the review is annual, then do this data set, 
create an annual bonus column with the salary multiplied by 10%. And I'm going to end it. Both of these get an end. And then when I run this, and in this case, I'm passing in court, notice that is lowercase because it should force it to be uppercase for me. Now, when I do this, I get my quarterly bonus. So this person's quarterly bonus is now $4,100, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now I have a data set of everybody's quarterly bonus that I should pay out. So this is how we use that if logic within an actual macro program to give us two different types of data sets based off of conditions. So if I put an in here for annual, I can run this little program and now I get my annual bonus, which is 10%. So $8,200 is 10% of $82,000. Awesome. And I can always go back to my work library and see those bonus things that were printed off for me. Okay. All right. So Real quickly, that was a review of that if macro. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Learning with Jelly and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.